You've had your tooth knocked out. Here's how to save it in four simple steps. Number one, remain calm. Number two, locate your tooth. You must find your tooth within the first hour because your tooth must not be dry for more than one hour. When you have located your tooth, it is very important that you pick it up by its crown. Number three, if your tooth is dirty, rinse it with cold water or your saliva and immediately reinsert it in place. Number four, bite on something soft to hold it in place and visit your dentist immediately. If you cannot reinsert the tooth, for example, if the person is unconscious and you're watching this video to help them, call an ambulance, place the tooth in milk, then bring the tooth and the person to emergency services first and then dentists immediately afterwards. Welcome to London Dental Specialists, a place where we save and create beautiful and healthy smiles. My name is Opus Udende and I am the principal dentist here. Dental evulsion is when a tooth has been completely knocked out of the jawbone. This is one of the most serious dental injuries and it requires speedy intervention. The choice of treatment depends on factors like the maturity of the root and the actions you have taken at the scene of the accident. Your actions at the scene will affect the condition of the periodontal ligament cells which attach your tooth to the surrounding bone. The condition of these cells is directly related to the amount of time your tooth has spent drying outside your mouth and how you stored the tooth before getting to the dentist. Before treatment, your dentist will categorize your knocked out tooth into one of three groups. Group one is where the periodontal ligament cells are most likely viable. This is when you have re-implanted your tooth immediately or shortly after the injury and you've visited the dentist quickly. In this case, your dentist will check to ensure correct orientation of the tooth, clean the area and apply sutures if required. They will also apply a flexible splint for up to two weeks. This splint allows for slight tooth mobility and this mobility promotes healing of the periodontal ligament cells. Your dentist will prescribe antibiotics and confirm tetanus immunization. If there is any doubt about tetanus, please visit your general medical practitioner urgently. You must have root canal treatment within two weeks of reimplantation by your dentist. The splint will then be removed and you will receive post-treatment instructions for optimal healing and prevention of further injury. These instructions include avoiding contact sports, maintaining a soft diet, brushing gently with a soft toothbrush and using a prescribed mouthwash. Group two injuries is when the PDL periodontal ligament cells may be viable, but are certainly compromised. This occurs when your tooth has been stored in milk and was outside the mouth for less than one hour instead of re-implanting into the bone. In this case, your dentist will rinse the root surface of the tooth and the surrounding bone. They will also examine the jaw for any fractures. After they've confirmed that there are no fractures, they will re-implant the tooth Apply sutures if required and apply a flexible splint for two weeks. Again, antibiotics are prescribed, tetanus protection is checked and you will be given similar post-treatment instructions. Now, group three is an unfortunate situation where the PDL periodontal ligament cells are non-viable, meaning that the tooth has been out of the mouth drying for more than an hour and was not stored in a proper storage medium like milk or saline. For patients under 18 years old in this group, your dentist must still reinsert your tooth. Once reinserted, it will most likely fuse with the bone, a process called ankylosis, 
and then slowly over time, the root of the tooth will get dissolved and destroyed by your immune system, leading to tooth loss again, right back where you started. As an adult, you might be fortunate that this process takes years and this gives you time to prepare yourself for the loss of this tooth. In conclusion, understanding how to perform dental first aid for a knocked out tooth at the scene of an accident is essential for the general public. Remember that in the event of dental trauma, a swift approach can make the difference between saving your tooth or having to have a dental implant down the line. Stay tuned for more informative videos on dental care and don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, liking the video means that the YouTube algorithm recommends it to other people in a similar situation to you. So please do so and we look forward to seeing you next time.